Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham here. Remember last week I showed how to fold this sofa, and this week I'll show you how to fold these little pillows that can be used with the sofa. So to make it, these are actually from three inch squares of sofa from a six inch, but I'll be showing you how to make the pillow with a six inch because it'll be easier. First you want to start with your, six inch, your square of paper, colored side down, and you're gonna make a divide into thirds. And one way you can go like this, fold it over like that. What I like to do is I kind of go like this. And just divide your paper into thirds. And pinch it, and there you go. Now I make sure you have your colored side down. So I'm gonna fold this over. Fold this over. Unfold. Now we're gonna do the same this other way. Again, divide this into three equal parts. Pinch. Now, white side up, fold them over. And then fold. Now we're going to take this side here, one of these thirds, and fold it in this raw edge to this crease right here, third mark, up there. Now we're going to take this one, fold it over on the existing crease, this side, fold it over on the existing crease. And now we're going to fold this up, there should be a crease already there, and fold this down. And we're almost done. We're going to take this here and tuck this flap into this pocket here. Tuck it in like that. Make sure it goes in all the way. And there we have this kind of square shaped thing. So now we're going to take each of these edges. And now this is kind of a fold to taste. The further in you fold it, the poof puffier your pillow will be. In this case, I'm going to fold about there. Crease it hard because there's a lot of layers there. And then go to the next side, fold it about the same. Open, rotate, fold in. Try to make them the same as much as you can. Now I'm going to flip this over and reverse these creases. This is a fairly simple design, by the way. And now we're ready to make our pillow. So we're going to reach in here, and you can see this side there's kind of a flap there. I want to make sure that's like this so it's all the same color essentially. Like you don't want to have it so this is over here. You want it to be like that. Or actually you do want this to be here. Like that. And you're going to kind of square it off here on your creases like you made there. And now we're going to make the other two sides of the pillow. So we see this This will be the corner. We're going to fold this in. Just fold down on the crease. And this, you can see how it's going to kind of make a point here on the corner. So this side should pretty much meet that uh, one side. If it overlaps, it looks best if you have the front side overlapping. It looks like a rip, a tore a little bit there, but it's okay. There's one side done. Turn it over to this other side and do the same. Fold in this section. And fold in the other section, making sort of a triangle point at the corner. sure it's puffed up nice. And now these corners you want to kind of pinch them and have them sticking straight out. Looks the best. And there it is. An origami pillow. And if you make a, you know, whatever size of paper you make your sofa, if you use a square that's one fourth the size of the sofa paper, then you'll, it'll fit on the sofa just like that. So I hope you're able to make that and I will see you next time.